Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a creative YouTuber that is trying to be a long no-buy and today I'm going to do my second YouTuber collab palettes look. So I did a look with a lethal is dead as the start of my the lethal is dead that is the palette between lethal cosmetics and Reese is dead as the start of my youtuber collab palettes and today i am doing the giant wolves that is between Owen's eye and annette's makeup corner and like when i have recorded my video with the lethal is dead i was like did i even mention teresa but I have been following Teresa for a long time and I think she's so funny and I think she's really like unique in the beauty YouTubers community. She is really her own and I do really like her so I think you should follow her. But today <laughs> I'm doing a look with the giant wolves and I know exactly what I want to do so I just want to start because for once I have actually planned out the look completely and I think that it's going to look like I planned it. I at least hope. So I think we just hop into this. And if you didn't know this little palette looks like, if I can open it the whole way, it looks like this. And I've actually done three looks one palette and I have used all the shades except for this one so I'm going to use it today and I hope that it would look like I think it will look so yeah I'm just going to I'm not going to tell you what my plan is but I do think I will do exactly what I have planned but maybe I shouldn't tell you that because if I fail you don't need to know so I'm going to start with this one on my whole lid and up in the mic so maybe I shouldn't do my whole lid. No, I start with it in my crease. You see, it's already going great. But maybe I can talk a little bit about Annette now that I did remember that I didn't talk about Teresa. I have followed and known Annette for is it four years? I think it is. I think I I found Annette through Paulina Beauty. They did a collab like I just think that Annette had put up a couple of videos and then I started to follow Annette and she did start to follow me and we did talk to each other and we have been friends since and it has been so fun to see how much she has grown and really see she has a really cool style in her makeup. She do a lot of liners and like more graphic looks and she's really really colorful and I do like love all the looks she has done. So I think you definitely should check out on it and she's really really sweet. And she's actually from Norway. I am not from Norway. I am from Sweden, but like Norway and Sweden is almost the same thing. Uh, but she lives in Las Vegas. And yeah, I think you really should follow her if you don't, because she is awesome. And I was so happy for her when she did this collab and I really love how this palette looks. This was the first eyeshadows that I did try from Odin's Eye and I think that this palette is really really good, like the formula is really good. I think this formula, because I have the Urd, Urd palette, um, but I think that this palette is actually better than the palette. Okay, I do like this color. I mean the blue is not my favorite but I like that it stayed kind of light even though I did blend it and it's now I don't know because I want to take 
this one all over my crease. This is an duochrome or multichrome. I I'm so bad. Uh, no, I think it is a multichrome or duochrome. It's a really cool shade, and I want to take it on almost my whole lid. Or I think I maybe want to take it on my whole lid. Because I was thinking if I was going to take this blue one on more of my lid as well. But I don't think that I need to do that. But I'm going to go in with this black one. Just on my outer corners and then... I will cut my crease and take this one. I have done full cut creases before. It is not my favorite thing to do. Um, I just don't like it on myself. I don't know if it is because I have hooded eyes or maybe if I'm just not that good of doing whole cut crease. I don't know, but this like the small amount of black I'm taking out here. It's almost like I'm doing a full cut crease, but it is a little bit of a difference, okay? And when this palette came from Odin's Eye, they did actually do a collab, two more collab palettes, but I did only buy this. I think though that I would have liked the other two palettes, but this was. Annette is the only one of those girls that I follow, so I just picked this up and one of the palettes was a red red dragon, I think it was called, and it looked really, really good, but I didn't buy it. I don't know if I regret it now, but it's too late for that now. So I'm going to take my NYX Glitter Primer and cut. Cut my crease and I'm just freehanding this. There is a lot of tips and tricks you can do, but I like to just try to. I'm not following exactly on my crease because I have hooded eyes, so I'm trying to take it a little bit over, but. I cannot give any tips because um, I don't have any. Okay. And now we're going in with this one. And do you see this? Now it only looks pink for me. Now it's starting to look a little bit blue as well. This looks so good, this shade. tapping it a little bit over the black one as well just because I think it will give a cool effect I really like this I don't know though if I'm super thrilled about blue in my crease anymore maybe I would want it a little bit darker but I do think that I like this because I'm going to have a little bit black on my lower lash later so it will deepen it down a little bit but I think it would have looked really really good if I have taken a deeper shade in my crease and then this a really really light one okay this looks so freaking cool I love this so I'm going to do something that I don't know if it's a super bad bad <laughs> super good idea i'm going to take this dark blue one purple one blue purple blue it's a blue and take a little bit on a small blending brush just deepen it down here i am so so happy with how this is looking i am i'm loving this so i'm going to fix my base and then come back and 
I was thinking about trying to have a lipstick from the same brand as the palette for this videos, but all I have is a red, like a kind of bright red from Odin's Eye, and I don't think that will look good. So I will see what I will pick out from what I have, but yeah, so far I'm loving these lids. I love them so, so much. I love this look. I did pop... Uh, this one in my inner corners and I also took this dark blue and put it more here because I thought this looks better and for my face I did use Ombra, Truth and Ozone from Nabla as usual. For my waterline I did use White Smoke from NYX. And on my lips, I did use this combo. This is Lethal's Anemia and LH Cosmetics Infinity Lip Gloss in Pastel Peach. And I'm just so happy with this look. I think it looks really, really good. I love the shimmer on my eyes. It looks amazing. And it's just so, so fun to use this palette because I did really like it when I did my Free Looks 1 palette. And now... I have used all the shades and I think it's just such a fun palette and I am so excited to use the other collab palettes that I have picked out for this because I don't use them that much because they are no longer available. I think the freaking bats from Shroud is still available but none of the others but I do have these palettes. I do love them and I want to use them because it's amazing palettes. So yeah that was all for this video. I hope that you like that I'm doing this because I feel like a lot of you that follows me has one or two or maybe all of these collab palettes and maybe you also have forgotten about them a little bit so i really hope that you will like these videos and if you haven't checked out annette go and do so she's amazing she is so sweet and she does really cool looks and she's just an awesome person and you won't regret it i can promise you that so yeah i hope that you will like this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my other videos and i hope that i will see you in the next one bye